Excellent. This is the last example question uh, on angles of elevation and depression. And so make sure you have seen parts uh, one, two, and three, where I have explained most of it already. Okay, let's have a look at the typical question involving these angles. It says, Rebecca is standing on a hill overlooking a lake, and she sees a small boat at an angle of depression of 70 degrees. If the hill is 80 meters above the water level, calculate the distance between Rebecca and the boat. Okay, so I'll quickly highlight the important information. I'm going to do it a little bit quicker now than the previous questions. Um, if we're talking about an angle of depression of 70 degrees. The hill is 80 meters above the water level and we have to calculate the distance between Rebecca and the boat. Okay, and with these questions you're trying to create your own right angle triangle. And therefore it's, it's crucial that you draw a picture yeah, uh, of the situation. So we have um, the water yeah, and then we have a hill. Okay, and they said the height of the hill is 80 meters, eh? which was 80 meters above sea level. So that one is 80 meters. And Rebecca is standing there at the top. And then they say, well, she sees, just get the question here again, a small boat at an angle of depression of 70 degrees. So that boat, which is here somewhere um, in the water, let's say it's there, B, um, um, I can draw that line. And as you can see now, I have a right angle triangle. You see that? It's a right angle triangle. There we go. And now some of you are going to say, oh, so this angle is 70 degrees, the angle of depression. No, it is wrong. And that is a typical mistake students make. Yeah? Don't go too quick. Remember that angle of depression is the angle below the horizontal. So let's draw the horizontal like this. Yeah? So the angle of depression is this angle. Now I know this is a sketch because it doesn't look like 70 degrees but it is actually 70 degrees according to the question. So the angle I'm interested in, the one in my triangle, is actually 90 minus 70. So that one will be 20 degrees. Yeah, Or you could have said that this angle is also 70 degrees. Anyway, angles of depression, be careful. What are they asking me? They're asking me um, the distance between Rebecca and the boat. Okay, so let's put a big X there. There we go. That's my right angle triangle. All the information is there. Now it's trigonometry. So, uh, caso, yeah, the three ratios. And I always turn it around, you know that? Because I have to decide which ratio to use. So I want to be in my angle, I'm physically there. And I have the adjacent because I've got to identify my size at the adjacent and the hypotenuse. I'm looking for the hypotenuse, adjacent, hypotenuse, cosine. You're absolutely right. There we go. Cosine of 20 degrees equals the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Yeah, now my unknown is in the denominator. So I have to do one extra step rearranging it times both sides by x yeah, to get rid of that fraction. And then I divide both sides by the cosine of 20 degrees. Yeah? Please make sure you're comfortable rearranging those equations. Yeah? So x equals, and now actually this was the first time, this is the first time I'm going to need my calculator, 80 divided by cosine of 20 equals, I'm going to write down in three significant figures straight away 85.1 meters yeah, because we're talking about meters now indeed i was expecting an answer bigger than 80 yeah, because the hypotenuse is always the longest side of the triangle um, so 85.1 that makes sense and um, hopefully you agree with me that with angles of elevation and depression you have to first of all of course identify the important information then you're going to translate that into a picture, into a drawing. Yeah, you're looking for a right angle triangle yeah, to do some trigonometry. You choose the correct or the appropriate ratio and you work it out. X equals 85.1 meters. I hope that was useful. Ask me a question if you have any and I'll try to help you. See you soon.